Oh, it's the M6 JKA, um, midway through a Hytera X1P um, upgrade, firmware upgrade. Um, and uh, yeah, it's quite scary when, you, um, when you're uploading firmware and things like that to, um, to radios, but um, you know, it looks, it looks like it's, um, it's sort of going, um, doing its thing. So this is the latest um, firmware version 7.001101. Um, um, which is uh, available on handymr.nl. Um, now you've got to have um, for this radio in particular. It's actually got I've got the um, the firmware lead. Now the firmware lead you can see here. It's just got a switch on it. I don't know if you can see that around the front, but um, basically that allows you to use it as a CPS lead and a firmware um, updating lead. So you just have to basically flick that switch across. And um, and it allows you to um, upgrade the firmware. I had to um, remind myself about that because um, uh, yeah, it wasn't working first of all because I didn't we didn't put the put the switch across. But um, with this particular radio, and it's saying so it's upgraded. Um, that looks like it's done. So I need to restart the radio. Um, basically, yeah, with this particular radio, this um, program lead, as I say, it's uh, you know you, you switch the switch on the lead. And all you've got to do, once you've switched the lead to um, firmware update mode, all you've got to do is just turn the radio on, just with the normal, um, the normal on and off um, volume control on the top. Uh, the other radios, by the looks of things, um, you've got to basically hold a couple of keys down, like the TK button and the PTT button. Um, but on this one, um, on this one you don't. You just um, you just basically, um, you know, do that, flick the lead, and turn the radio on, and then it's automatically recognized by the um, by the software um, the software is pretty good I mean I, I do a lot of um, flashing of arm devices and things like this but basically um, there's a little thing here I'm using a virtual machine on this and for some reason the font's really really tiny um, but basically you click on this and it tells you which radios it's for um, so you can scroll right down to the X1P here and, and see all the different models. I thought originally you had to just click one of these to um, select it, but for some reason you you know you can select it, but there's nothing you can do after that. It won't you know it won't go any further. And when you exit that, it doesn't sort of seem like you've actually selected anything. But um, you don't have to worry. I think that is just really to show you what the firmware um, what the firmware is. You know what radio it is for. Anyway, so it says upgrading finished. Um, so let's head back to my instructions on here, which basically just say um, firmware upgrade. So you do that, and then you go through to here in case of open USB. You know, it doesn't apply. Um, by the looks of things, step six optional repair. What it does by the looks of things is um, when you initially when you run that upgrade, what will happen is it actually um, extracts the firmware from the radio. Um, first of all, so um, that, that's pretty good because obviously if anything, anything goes wrong, then it can just you can just put that firmware back on. Um, I think that's what this bit's about on the uh, in the instructions. But um, anyway, so there you go. It says uh, click OK and power off the subscriber. Right, we've done that. Let's turn the radio off. So turn the radio off here. And I'll probably switch this switch back to um, CPS mode. Just to make sure it doesn't go back into any sort of programming mode or anything. Right, and then fire up the radio, see what happens. It's always worrying when you do these things. <laughs> um, right, okay, so that's fired back up, and then we can test out. It's retained the code plug, which is good. There is also a little, little uh, extra icon on there. What's that about? That little sign there. So let's go back into here and just see if the firmware has been successfully done. Um, so settings, device info, here's my radio, yes, is serial number, model number, firmware 7001110, which is correct. So that's that, looks like it's done. So um, next steps I suppose is really just figure out what um, uh, yeah, what what else you can what else you can do? I'm not sure if that was there before. I'm not sure. Maybe it was. Um, it's difficult to know 
you know what's what's in here and what's not but um i'll have a look on the cps and see if, if anything's changed there um it is the latest cps anyway so i mean i don't think any, anything's going to change by just updating the firmware and the radio but um there was a couple of boxes that it wasn't letting me check so um in feature control so i'm not sure if um if that that would have changed anyway there you go just a little brief um upgrade so it wasn't right from the beginning um it, <laughs> I just thought, oh, I might as well, while I'm doing this, I might as well just um, grab a video. But um, if you want any more information, um, ask the questions in the comments. Cheers for now.